Hey guys, what's good? Welcome to Akabans. We're gonna go straight into it. So much loss during the course of the week. It's been crazy, man. But again, we're gonna give tribute to a couple of people. We're gonna, you know, big up to Whiskey on his new album. Um, but also, we're gonna be talking about how to get a job with the Nigerian police. And of course, the NDDC video that's been going around. So, welcome to Akabans. Welcome back to the show. If you are just joining us for the first time, please, you are welcome. You are in the right place. This is where we catch up on all the gists, all the fun things that has happened during the week. Okay. Well, um, we also talk about Twitter, Twitter trends, but I've now decided to move that to Wednesdays. So, yeah. But here, we talk about what's happening during the week, the most interesting stories. Okay. So, I drop these videos on Sunday evenings by 6 30 p.m. and also on Wednesday I drop the videos on Wednesday Twitter trends tweet casting by 6 30 p.m. Okay, so see you then guys if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you share with your friends and family. We appreciate it every time you guys um, You know just share the video. I see it. I see it and I see those of you that don't actually share my video You watch it alone and you don't share. I see you my God, we answer for me. <laughs> it's a lie. I love all of you. Aww. Well, thanks a lot. But please um, make sure you get that subscriber count up. If you're only coming here because I told you on Instagram or sent it to you on WhatsApp that you should watch, please, dears, you're not doing okay. You're not doing well. You're not doing the best for me. Open it on YouTube and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button and you'll be notified every time I drop a video, okay? Let's jump right into it. So if you didn't know, no, well, I'm sure you must have known now, but we have lost Naya Rivera to an accidental drowning and it's quite sad. You know, I didn't want to speak about this before. It had been going around. The news had been everywhere. Um, her son was found on a boat that, you know, and he was alone. They went together on a boat ride, but then he was found alone. Um, she was missing, but now her body has been found. And that's why I've now, you know, decided to bring this here and just, you know, pray for her family to find comfort and I just pray her soul rest in peace. I mean, I used to watch Glee when I was in university. I, wa I watched season one and season two and then I stopped because the drama became too much. It became too much, it became too soapy. Um, the cheese, uh, but it was impactful. For the first two seasons that I watched, it was impactful. God, I loved listening to music and she was so talented. Um, it's just heartbreaking and I'm just, you know, praying that her son finds love and, um, you know, comfort. Also, we lost Fahim Saleh. Um, he's gone. So his body was dismembered, actually, in his house apartment. Um, and he, she was, he was found by his sister. And then she called the police. Fahim is the Gokara guy. So you know how Gokara, you know, lost, went into crazy, you know, lost because the government said no Karas in Lagos anymore. This is after they collected all his money to, you know, give him all the permits and everything to start the business and everything and then right after he starts you know a couple of months down the line boom we are now banning Okadas so sad um but yeah um his body was first found and I was just the first instance when I saw you know just like <gasps> Nigerian politicians have allegedly gotten to him I'm flushed with shame now because I'm just like why would I think that why would I say that but you know what we distrust our government and I'm not going to apologize for that. It is the right, it, I said the right, the onus rests on the government to make sure that we trust them. I don't trust the government. Any bad news I hear now is the government's fault. It's Buhari's fault. You know, my pencil breaks or my battery is not working. Buhari Not caused it. it. Do you understand? There's no light in my house. Buhari it. caused it. You understand what I'm saying? I fell down from the stairs. Buhari it. caused it. Allegedly. So, my guys, I just, you know, that was the first thing I was like, okay, I can hold on. This isn't logical. Think. Think. So, I began to dig deeper, research and everything. And then, you know, he's an Indian, you know, lives in New York. And I was just like, New York, where? Man, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. Could it be? Could it just be that he may have borrowed money from the mafia and the mafia got to him? I was like, whoa, because the business didn't do well again. So I was like, mad, oh, that's a theory. At the end of that theory, I was just like, but now still Nigerian politicians cost some now because if they didn't, 
mess him up, he would have had money, his business would have gone, and he would have still paid the mafia back their money. See where I'm going with that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I thought again and I went out and I was like, third option, it could just be that somebody jealous or somebody who knows where he's keeping money decided to kill him for money. Yeah. I don't know. But I was just like, man, it's sad that he's gone. It's so sad. I can't imagine what his sister must have gone through just seeing a body dismembered, like you know, arms here, waist there, you know, legs somewhere else. Yeah, another pound. It's just crazy. Well, Tyrese Devon is who was actually his PA has been arrested by the police as the first suspect, you know, in this case. There was an elevator footage of him going into his apartment with somebody wearing complete black and wearing a black mask um and then them they, they were struggling once they got into the apartment at first and then i don't know if the rest of the footage was seen but yeah i hope that helps the police in getting who the real culprit is but yeah it's crazy also we lost someone very 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 special to nigeria and this one pain me you guys this one pain me to look up where She's the first helicopter combat pilot in Nigeria and first female combat pilot. Um, and then the story is that, you know, she saw an old classmate and then the old classmate was very, very excited to see her and then decided to, and then in the bid of trying to get to her, reversed and hit her and then she died. The story no right because what kind of speed, what kind of speed will make somebody in reverse, not front, reverse, you were speeding so much that your reverse killed somebody. Then the person that we are talking about in question is a personnel with military training. Me, if I see car in reverse coming, I know how I can maneuver myself. Then military trained, I don't understand, maybe she was carrying eggs. And she wanted to save the eggs instead of her life. So what kind of story is this? A no jail. The Nigerian military has allegedly given us a false narrative. I don't believe it. That's my opinion. That's the truth. I don't know what has happened, but I don't believe it. This one. And then there was no quick medical attention because this happened in the camp, in the military camp. There was no quick medical attention that could have saved her life because she suffered from hemorrhage, head injuries. Look, investigations have been set up and they're looking into this matter. Hope we find the truth. Love to her family. May her soul rest in peace. But this one has pained me. It's not today that the most talented of our military personnel are being targeted and are being killed. It is not today, allegedly. I rest my case. Well, in the spirit of believing in our country, um, the police is recruiting. I mean, I'm going to put the link in my description box on how to apply. So make sure you click on that link because Nigeria needs you. Don't just be a talker. My dear, join the system. Change from within. Change the system. Well, they said that they are hiring for the position of a police constable. Now let's discuss the salary of a constable. 46k. Your salary is going to be 46? What? 46k? Let's see the list of salary of Nigerian police officers. Constable, 46,000 to 47,000 naira. Corporal, 52,000 to 53,000 naira. Sergeant, 62,000 to 63,000 Naira. Unconfirmed one bar, 78,000 Naira. Confirmed inspector, two bars, 123. One star ASP, 132 to 134. Confirmed ASP, 139. My God. DSP. 142 to 143,000. This DSP is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 positions away from the from constable, which is the least. And your salary is 142,000. In my opinion, the salary of constable 
should start from 150. Police people will know them. They, their starting point is four kids, five kids. Then you are now giving them 46,000 naira? Did I say you should go and join police, my dears? Why will you join? If my child tells me they want to join police, will I, will I agree? Wow. People will say, this is why they are stealing. This is no excuse, however, for the abominable crimes that the police allegedly perpetrate. The civilians shouldn't suffer for the choices that they make or the choices that somebody else makes. You want to join, join. If you want to take the salary, it's your salary. Channel it towards the government. You're angry, you want salary increase, channel it to the government. Let the government know that you are not happy. I've never heard that police are fighting for increase of salary. If they do protest, I know that a lot of nice Nigerians will join them in the protest to say, pay our police better because we know they deserve better. But allegedly, the police is so corrupt that even when they catch their ogres stealing their money, one was caught with billions of naira that he stole. There is no tone of anger, no distaste. Because they are allegedly just waiting for them to just reach their own position at the top and carry their own. Or they said, wait a minute, go do. They will just extort it from normal civilians like you and I. Allegedly. Well, a lot of you have been asking me about my nice shirts, where did I get it from? Oh, I love that. There was one other video that I put in where just like, look at Aka shirts. Well, in the spirit of raising up black businesses, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. These shirts are made by my friend, a designer called Jeff Urban. I love this. This fabric is so sweet. So check him out on Instagram, okay? Now, um, there's this video that has been going on around about the alleged corruption that has been happening in the NDDC. But we will go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. There's this NDDC video that has been going around. There's this video going wild. Now, if you don't know, Niger NDDC means Niger Delta Development Commission. Did you hear that? Niger Delta Development Commission. The Niger Delta has been the source of 80% to 90% of the crude oil that has been funding this country for the last since the since we found oil. The Niger Delta was the source. Now, the Niger Delta has been like, you know the way they take corn, they remove the first, the back of corn and throw it away, then they boil the corn to eat. That back that they threw away has been the Niger Delta. Nigeria has sucked them dry. They laid pipe from Niger Delta to the north to refine the crude oil, which failed. Now, the environmental havoc the social and economic havoc that has been wrecked on that small geographical location of Nigeria has been so immense that they began to cry out. We are tired of having our rivers black. We are tired of the fish that we used to, you know, live on and we used to sell because, I mean, Niger Delta, they have water, fish, fishermen. They're like, we used to sell our fish and make income. Now we can't because all the fish are dead. We are floating. The land is dead because just the gas flaring everywhere. People are dying, inhaling smoke, explosions happening everywhere. That's what has been happening in the NDDC. Enugu. Now, Nigeria, after, that's why some of them entered into, you know, kidnapping, um, kidnapping white men, you know, and saying, you people in Shell, you people in Total, we will kidnap you, we'll collect ransom and release you because you deserve it. You are stealing our money. They killed journalists that were trying to say, yo, 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 something is happening here. Nobody is talking. Kensal Ruiwa was killed. Well, all of that happened. And then, you know, Nigeria said, okay, you know what? After all, let's calm down. We will help you. We will start making, you know, changes. We will start pumping back money. We will build schools. We will do the road. We will remove the bad effect of the, you know, oil. So they set up the NDDC to develop the Niger Delta region. But now something has happened in this dispensation. The ex-MD of NDDC, Joy Nunye, is calling out Senator Akbabi, who is the minister of NDDC, of Niger Delta Affairs, for stealing out billions. He will always refuse to sign, but he will tell you to go and commit the fraud. For instance, he told me to go and raise a memo and give an emergency contract 
for flood victims. He wanted me to take an oath. He has denied that, but I want to say today, he told me up to three times until we had a reconciliation meeting at the villa in the house of Mr. Sadiki Abba, who is the SA to the president on domestics. In that meeting was Alaji Meikano. He said the only condition was if I take the oath. I refused to take the oath and I did not take that oath. And I will never take the oath from him. So he said he was going to remove me. He started a campaign of calumny against me. He said, I'm not even there. I did not answer him because the facts will speak for itself. Now, to end this matter about the procurement process, I refuse to go with him to deceive Mr. President at the FEC meeting because the Procurement Act says if I contravene any section of the Procurement Act, it's five years imprisonment without an option of fine. So if I go and say they should pay for the process, if you see, they say it's for 2020 budget. Atabio went to get the approval from FEC. The 2020 budget has not even been discussed by the National Assembly till today. The, the 2020 budget has not been passed. However, he lied to FEC, which is the greatest embarrassment in this country, for a budget that has not been passed, for an approval to be given for that procurement. I refused to go because he wanted me to send the money for the procurement to the ministry to implement the forensic audit. I refused. I am challenging him to deny any of these allegations because I have to round up for you people. But all the facts and all that I've, I've, I've said are all written, are all written in my document. Please ma, call them out. Call out the names of all the alleged politicians and government workers who gave you a tough time and who stole. Call them out. Reel the names out, ma'am. I support you, Miss Joy. Yes, this is what we are here for. Come on. The one that Governor Akbabio allegedly stole before. It had not do him. He was governor for eight years. Then he now went and decided to be senator. Then minister. He has not stolen enough, allegedly. It's only this country that it is the accuser that is arrested. The accused is set free. By now, Akbabio should be arrested. Or we should hear that he has been called for questioning. But what has been done? What have we heard has been done? Nothing. Please, did you people hear that video? She said that Mr. Cairo said that he can kill. That if Akbabi sends it to Kiyuki, where is Mr. Cairo? Where is he? Hey! We need more women in government. If not for anything, just for the way that they would be cast. But let's go back to the situation I had. Now, to be honest, I mean, good people are not gender specific. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Nigeria needs more women because it's only women that can rule this country. No. Good people are, they are bad people. Both men and women. And there are bad women in government. A lot, a lot of them are bad. There are a couple of women in government. And I've not heard of a lot of them doing anything really good. So, but I'm just saying, man, we need more good women. In, because their casting is different. Men cast, but not this kind. Women go to give them with drama. They go to give them with sweat. They go to talk. They, it will be fast. So you're like keeping up with the Kardashians, you're like, whoa, whoa, did she just drop a gem there? She will give it to you with rough neck. <laughs> I'm not going to take any oath from him. I said I was not going to take an oath from him. He told me that I should take oath and I said no. <laughs> ah, my God. Anyway, 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 anyway. So I really feel like this guy is allegedly stealing from the defenseless, suffering people. People that have been victims of flood, displaced people, and all I'm hearing is billion, billion, billion. That's all I hear. Then they will now go and distribute pure water and Indomie and build borehole and say they've worked, but they collected billion. Hey! 
are retarded. There is blood on the hands of these politicians, allegedly, on their hands. Well, I gotta go, but you know what? I can't spend more than 15 minutes here because, you know, there's another... Wait, hold on. Hello? Yeah, yeah, hello. I can hear you, correspondent. Correspondent one, I can hear you. Well, we have a correspondent and he will be coming to you live with footage of, of Miss Joy being harassed by the police. Take a look. Early this morning, about four o'clock, I hear people was around, were around my gate. I made some calls. I tried to reach the governor um, because he had told me that if I saw any strange movements, I should alert him. So I called some people. They said they might not be real policemen, so I should stay. They said they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They said, no warrant of arrest. What kind of what kind of society? What kind of society are we in? Can't you invite her to the police? Now you come up, all of you come. Ah! Hey, good. They were they they had gone to carry this woman. They wanted to vanish her. Allegedly. They were going to carry, they didn't come with warrants. And do you know that man that was shouting at the governor was the is the deputy commissioner of police? How can they somebody be talking to the governor like that? Who are you? And if Wiki was not there, they would have carried that woman. Missed. She would have just missed. And nobody will call out Akbabio. Who sent those people? Is it not Akbabio allegedly? Eh? Akbabio allegedly. <laughs> How, oh, my God, this country. Thank God she has gone with Wiki. Now, that was the deputy commissioner of police talking with Vile, saying, We are not going to go, sir. We are going to carry her. We are mean, talking to the governor. Number one man, number one citizen in the state, Rivers, where you're from, where your deputy commissioner is the, is the head and the chief of military in that state. Let's see, you know what? That was the deputy governor. Deputy Police, Com Police Commissioner. Now let's hear what the commissioner has to say. Um, correspondent two, please let's 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 have you. He will he will hand her over. Okay, okay, and uh, yeah. So you see, we're seeing footage now, sir. I don't know if you can you can see this as an officer actually trying to uh, physically break into her residence. Um, how do you? Uh, you know, how do you, are you satisfied with the process that was taken, you know, that was taken, you know, executed by the, your command here with footage of them trying to break into that door? I believe that's a photo trick. A photo trick? <laughs> what? No, sorry, that's, that's live footage. It's, 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 it's not a photo trick. Those... A photo trick? <laughs> Scream! A photo trick? How do you do photo trick in a video? He didn't even say that's not the police. Oh, that's that. We don't know anything about that. We never sent out to police. Officer, that's a photo trick. <laughs> you know what? I'm going. I'm gone. I gotta go, guys. Bye. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button and please share this video, okay? Bye, guys. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm going. I'm moving to Canada. Bye.